So it's the FA Cup final on Sunday, Manchester United against Chelsea. Obviously, Jose Mourinho going back against his former club. Two seasons, but both sets of fans will be going into this game. Well, your fans are definitely going into this game. Disappointed how the season went. And the United fans, we finished second, but there was a lot of room for improvement. So both teams aren't firing at all cylinders going into this game. Oh, Sam, far from it. I think that as much as you're saying that your season hasn't been great... It's incomparable to how bad our season has been. Our season has been atrocious. It really has. It's it's felt just it's felt turgid. It's felt like such a slog, and we really haven't. Like when I think about the highlights of the season, I think of about three. Like it's been poor. It really has. Um, and you've had some. You've had although it's been a bad season overall. You've had some wonderful days. Oh, we've had some wonderful days, and obviously we did finish second. There's there is a lot of reasons for United fans to be happy with how the season went, but. The manner of the defeat to Sevilla in the Champions League was a real sour point of the season. Given yes. that we've won the Europa League under Mourinho, we've won the League Cup under Mourinho. The Champions League was seen as a real step up, the mm. progress to get United back to where United fans want to be. We can't do that in the league with City firing all cinders. I've said that twice now for some reason. A <laughs> hundred points they finished on. But United are on the march. And going into the FA Cup final, it's, it's not a trophy now where if we win or we lose the final, it will define the season as, as a success or a failure. It is for us. But it is for you. It is for us, yeah. Uh, like this season, without an FA Cup final appearance, if we were already out of the FA Cup, it would it would go down as just being one of the most awful seasons. Just in terms... like I've seen far worse Chelsea teams finish in a far worse position. Yeah. But enjoy, enjoyed it far more. It's just felt like an effort. You know, there's been players... Sounding off about leaving the club, Thibaut Courtois is always flirting with Madrid. Antonio Conte is really not happy. The board are forever threatening to sack him. Uh, the fans, there's a massive disparity between how the fans feel about the club at the moment. Some people are backing Conte, other people are, are aggressively and unfairly, in my opinion, um, calling for his head. And it just hasn't been good. However, however, the FA Cup final for me means so much. I'm, I'm, I'm never sneery towards a trophy. I thought that the season where you won both the League Cup and the Europa League was brilliant. There was a year... That was a great of, year. Yeah. I, 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 I'm never sneery towards a trophy and I'm very proud that my club is never sneery towards a trophy. You know, we never put out a reserve team in the League Cup or anything like that. We take it all very seriously. And a day out at Wembley is incredible. The FA Cup, there's obviously a hierarchy of trophies, but the FA Cup is very dear to me. And if we can lift it, I don't think we can but if we can if we somehow pull a performance out of the bag this season will completely change the way that I'll view it overall because it's silverware really yeah because silverware is the point isn't it the yeah, game but, is yeah, about winning champions play. last year though to go from that to what maybe like 30 but we know, how, we, know we know how hard it is to retain yeah. silverware uh, to retain uh, particularly Premier League um, the, which, which is why when we did the double it was Mesmerising, and when you did a treble three in a row, you know, I don't think that would be repeated again. No, it's it's outrageously it's outrageously good. But, but, but if, I'm if, so envious of United's history and, and of winning silverware. When mm. I was a kid growing up, you were the you were the zenith of the game. You know, you were winning doubles and trebles, and and it was because of your your ability to win silverware that makes you this super club. You know, you're not a football club the way that I see a football club. You're it would be like comparing a city to a metropolis. You know, it's like like Manchester United aren't a football club in the way that most other football clubs are. Mm-hmm. It'd be like comparing a normal city to New York City. It's you're it's a metropolis. You're you're so big, and the reason that you have that stature is because of your incredible ability to just win silverware. So if we can, I never underestimate the what I mean, it means. You have to done that since yeah, yeah, Brandon came in. You've you you literally bought. Yeah, that. I'd say over the past over the past fifteen years, it's been it we've been spoiled. We have been spoiled, but I'm of a generation where I can remember. Like Chelsea went 25 years without a trophy. Prior to Fergie coming in, it was 33 years before yeah, we won Yeah, exactly, the exactly. But that would have been a bit before your... Yeah, yeah. So, so you've only known United as a, yeah, yeah, as a trophy winning club. As. Whereas I've only known United as a trophy winning club, but I've also known Chelsea as, as a club that couldn't win a thing. Mm-hmm. And I remember in 1994, when I went to my first ever FA Cup final was against you... Yeah, was it? Um, <laughs> I thought that was it. I thought mm-hmm. that was our moment we'd done the double over you that year and I thought that was the year that we were going to win the trophy it didn't happen I thought we'd never get another chance three years later in 97 we won it and I thought that's as good as football's ever going to get like that is the best I'll ever see and I'm happy with that and then we've been spoilt for so long but this is a thing with winning trophies it 
whets the appetite, doesn't it? You want more? more yeah, you, you get greedy. More. But say, if, uh, as a club or as right now, who needs the FA Cup more? Is it is it Chelsea and Conte or is it United and Mourinho for this season? I think we, I think every club always needs an FA Cup. It's it's a, it's a good trophy. I imagine that a lot of there'll be a lot of conjecture in the comments on this video, perhaps suggesting that I'm overstating the FA Cup because I know that there is a school of thought that suggests it doesn't mean that much anymore. I really value it, and I would never say that any club, particularly a club of Manchester United stature, should would see a season losing in a final to Chelsea as all right. If we lose, it makes it it's turmoil. If you lose, it's probably not quite as bad. So from that logic, I suppose Chelsea. Need I, it I think a bit it's more. A, it's more down to the expectations of of how you see progress, and that's what we've seen under Mourinho since he took over from Van Gaal. As I said, in his first year, first United manager to actually win silverware in his first year, and he won two. Yeah. And then in his second year, he's now in the FA Cup final. So if he does win that. And it's only the Champions League and yeah. the Premier League which he hasn't won as a United manager and this already. Is, and, the, and the reason that you've employed Mourinho is because Mourinho's brilliance, what, what is so special about Mourinho, is his ability to win trophies. Yeah. He's a flawed man, he's a flawed manager. There are, there are holes every in his game. Well. Yeah, absolutely, every person is. But where there is no flaw with Mourinho is the ability to accrue silverware. So if you have a season with Mourinho without winning silverware, I think in his eyes at least... It's not a good year. I mean, that, that's why I'm confident going into the final. Oh, you, mean, you should be confident because you, you've got the man who never loses a final versus the man who's never won a final. <laughs> Has Conte never won a final? Never won a final, no. Really? How many? I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not pulling at that thread, Sam. We're not, no. we're not having that discussion. For sure? Yeah. Well, you pull it up, not me. Um, in terms of Chelsea fan opinion on Mourinho, obviously him coming to United, it was sour. At the, it was his exit was sour. It was sour at the start. Has it softened? Or is is it still the same feeling? No, if anything, I'd say that it's it's increased slightly. Um, I think the, the way that I can, you know, I can't speak for all Chelsea fans, but the way that I will view Mourinho is, firstly, I will be forever thankful for everything he did for Chelsea. Mm. He showed me he he was the reason that I experienced feelings I never thought were possible. He is probably the if one man has ever made me happier. <laughs> He he'd be the man. Just, that, I didn't realise he could go on this turn. <laughs> that man, that man has made me more happy on more occasions than any other man. <laughs> <laughs> so so one of the best things you've ever said. <laughs> so for that for that reasoning alone, I will forever be thankful. I mean, what he did at Chelsea was unreal. We hadn't won a league for fifty years. Mm. We went fifty years without being champions. He, he arrived. We won it. We broke records. We were playing this style of football that really was. Glamorous, and this is why I find it slightly frustrating when people always shake Mourinho's style of football. But a lot of fa- a lot of Chelsea fans do, don't they? Like, in terms of how they feel about him now, that's what that's what I'm like, getting. When towards. we had when we had Didier Drogba, Arjun Robben, and Damien Duff, with Michael Essien and Frank Lampard supporting, I hate you, that team. That was one of the most breathtaking football st- teams there has ever been. Yeah, yeah, that was that Every was uh, that was outrageous. So the 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 turgid style of football that Mourinho is often acclu- accused of he does it because he's pragmatic and he can win games using yeah. that he's perfectly capable of playing the sexy style and we have seen that yeah, quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, if you yeah. look at United at the start of the season obviously we signed Emmanuel Matic we'll talk to speak about him in a yeah. bit uh, but we signed Matic from you and he was sensational at the start of the year and we were pumping teams we beat CSK mm. 4-0 not 4 past Everton Crystal Palace start of the year we were firing that's mm. why we were toe to toe with Man City then we fell away when I think Pogba got suspended. Matic went off form when Pogba went out of the team, and then City just went. Pfft. Yeah, yeah. Eighteen wins in a row. We couldn't get. No, no one's near getting near that. No yeah, one's yeah, getting yeah. near that. But we've had ups and downs this season. It's certainly not been a consistent season. We're going into the FA Cup in terms of our Premier League form. United, the United, the team clearly broke the season off as soon as City won it, and as soon as we were happy in the top four. Yeah. Because obviously we lost against West Brom. We lost against Brighton. You won the big one, now. Where have we beat? You won the big one. What, Watford? No. Stopping City, Stopping City winning was... the league against you means a lot. That it was... means a lot. I've said this a few times on a few videos, but the images and the memories that could have been made from that day were Mate, completely the, brushed under the, the carpet. Buzz, the buzz of what any fan watching that game, especially the fans in the stadium watching it at the, at the Etihad, Imagine, I, I'm so envious of that feeling. Stopping your rivals winning the league. All right, we knew, we knew they were going to win it. We knew they were going to yeah, win it in November. Exactly. But 
it would go down in history if they won it against you. Yeah, like no. people are always talk Arsenal fans. Anyone who ever talks to any Arsenal fans will tell you the exact dates that they won the league titles at White Hot Lane. Yeah, they did it in seventy one. They did it in 04 I believe. And I know that because I used to always I'm bombarded with it because I live in North London. Anyone, you you basically make stopped history attacking you that day. If, that, if they had won the league that day against you, it would have gone down in history. It didn't happen. And instead, we saw Vincent Company dancing on a table in a pub. Yes, that, that was the title celebration. Yes, yes, it was, yes. He was, yes. was around his mum's house. There was a very there was a pitiful video. I don't know if you, I imagine most people saw it. Of people like arriving at the Etihad, yeah, well, but like all like ten, them. yeah, 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 yeah. It was. Same. I mean, it, 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 there's no bad way to win the league. Winning the league is always like the most joyous thing that can happen in football. But on the scale of it being wonderful, on the scale of it being the best thing ever, it's the worst way to win it. I think United did well there, but you know, what are your feelings going into the game? Do you oh, think mate, you're going to win it? Do you think that Chelsea have got a chance? No. Why? Why not a chance? We, we have a chance. We have a chance because it's a two horse race. We have a chance because we have players who are world class and we have a chance because on his day we have a manager who gets it right but you don't have a chance why we don't have a chance because the form that we're in is terrible our last two games we drew with Huddersfield at home which was a must win game we lost to Newcastle 3-0 so our form is terrible we have a manager who is so unhappy the board and him are, are at loggerheads it's been the way for a long time we haven't seen our best players perform very well for, for ages uh, we have our, our best striker our, our main man our £60 million centre forward is crap uh, and we are relying on Olivier Giroud who's been great he's come in he's a cult hero already um, and he is one of the reasons actually that we have a chance mm. but if United well I lost you've got to be <laughs> I mean the, you've, the got way, to, you've got to be confident here. the way we played in that second half against Spurs obviously 1-0 down early goal to Ali we equalised, but Spurs could have scored two, three, four in that first half. And it's something that United have done a lot this season. It's that if you can expose it, you might win. It's that our first half performances. For some reason, we just can't come out quick. In the second no. half, I don't know what Mourinho says at half time, but we look transformed in the second half. We always win it's what he's good at. the second half of the He analyses the game games. and makes it makes change. Yeah, I know that, but we've got to be better at, at starting yeah, yeah, quicker yeah, because agreed. if we don't and then Chelsea can get one, maybe even a two goal lead. And you can sit back and soak it up. United have been poor at that. And Lukaku has been injured now mm-hmm. for two weeks. Yes. And he's been, with and without Lukaku, United are a different looking attack inside. His all-round game has improved so much this year that he's now not just a poacher. Yeah. He's a target man. He can hold the ball up. He can bring others into play. He's got seven assists as well as 26 goals. Yes. He's had a fantastic season. But without Lukaku... He's no Morata. Oh, he, that worked out quite nicely. <laughs> Thank you very much for, for that. But... Yeah. I don't know. I do worry about how United will look in attack without Lukaku. I think we might be a little bit spineless. Yeah. I, I, well, I mean, I, 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 I'm reading that they're going to get him fit for that. Oh, he'll start. He'll start. But you know what it is? He might not be 100% okay. match fit. He might be pushed back into well, the Well, I mean, we're relying on that. And the other thing that, the other way we could get you is if, if Eden Hazard had, has a, a good blind. game. If, Ed, if Eden Hazard plays well, Chelsea will win the game. Like, he's that good a player. Yeah. You know, if he is, he's one of Why the very few Why are that's going to happen? Because he's very hot cold at the moment. He doesn't seem to be in the zone. He does play very well against United. So so there's hope there. Um, but if he doesn't turn it on, like Eden Hazard's good enough to take Chelsea, you know, he can, he can drag Chelsea mm. by the scruff of their neck to a victory that perhaps they don't deserve. He's good enough to do that. He's done it countless times. If he plays well, we're in with a shout. If it falls our way, we're in with a shout. But I'm dreaming, I'm, I'm, I'm praying, but I'm not at all confident. So what's your prediction then? I, I, my prediction is that the dream comes true and Chelsea win 2-1 <laughs> to... you've got to stay loyal yeah. <laughs> you? I think it'll be 2-1 obviously 2-1 was the result we had at Old Trafford William with that early goal and yeah. then United turned it round and yeah. so we've we've done that a lot this season more so than I can remember in the last 4 or 5 years of watching United we've turned losing positions into wins but that's something that United have done so so much it was a habit under Fergie which just became the norm yeah. but we did it in that period where we came back against you the next play, next week we play Palace 2-0 down, 3-2 up, and we play Liverpool, we were winning that one. But there have been so many more, I think Mourinho this season has won games from losing positions more than the last like two, three years of United combined. Yeah. It's just, it, it's, it's a habit that 
a part of United's identity that's slowly coming back and and it's crucial it's it, such a great thing it's to have. Su- it is United because it plays on the other you know as exactly. much as it's great for you you know I remember watching the Palace game this year mm. and, and obviously at the time it mattered to Chelsea because we were sort of neck and neck and I was watching that Palace game and I just thought they're going to win it like, no matter what's happening here, no matter what I'm watching United are going to win this game very much similar actually to the, to the semi-final against Tottenham mm. I'm watching Tottenham I'm watching them play really well I'm watching them dominate the first half I'm watching Ali nick a goal think Man United are going to win this and that's the club you want to be and that's the club that you slowly yeah and that is that is yeah. definitely starting to come back but going into it it's an effort it's a, it's a final anything can happen but I just can't see Mourinho letting this United team lose to Chelsea in an FA Cup final I, okay. I think he I think he's that good a manager that in that respect that he just won't let it happen and I, I, I hope I'm not overestimating Mourinho's influence and his ability and the severe exit sort of maybe question mm. his ability in a sort of like knockout type round of football yeah, where it's only 90 mind, minutes yeah. uh, because I always backed Mourinho over any manager in a two-legged European affair I thought there's no way he's not going to go through and him mm-hmm. losing that in the style that he lost it meant there was question marks being asked yeah. United winning the FA Cup final doesn't answer these questions but it gives us three trophies in two years and it sets us up perfectly which is for the what should be next season I mean, next season was supposed to be the dream this season but City have just done something mm. out of the ordinary that won't be repeated there's no way they're going to get 100 points next year not a chance because teams will close the gap whether or not we win the FA Cup final would not influence that too much but in terms of finishing the season on a real positive for United fans coming second and winning the FA Cup is a good, good season where, especially when we finished sixth last year and especially when City you can't you can't fight that man you can't fight 100 points you've no. just got I know this isn't easy for, for United fans but at some point you just have to go they've got 100 points man what can you do well no they broke all the records yeah, yeah. there's a reason that they have set the history because there's something completely out of the ordinary Absolutely. but fingers crossed on Saturday that Matic has a blinder you know he's been a fantastic player for us this season thank you very much for that <laughs> Lukaku whether or not he comes back let me know what who you would play if Lukaku wasn't in the starting 11 I worry about how United will look in attack if he's not in a team uh, make sure you check out Ball Street later on uh, because me and Rory were doing a preview over on there as well make sure you check out CFC Fan TV I'll be doing a preview over on there too bad luck on Saturday fingers crossed <laughs> Mourinho can win it against Chelsea